<laughs> Almost everything people eat is acid forming. Because the only things that are alkaline forming are fruit and leafy greens and, and a few other vegetables. But you know, almost everything else is acid forming. So th this is why osteoporosis, it's not just a, an issue for some people, it's an issue for anyone who's old enough to have been consuming a poor diet long enough. Because that's what causes osteoporosis. It's enough years consuming a poor diet. When you, your body begins to, uh, you know, it stops building, begins to start breaking down. And, and by the way, osteoporosis doesn't actually affect women more than it affects men. It impacts women more than it impacts men. Why is that? Well, the average woman's bones are two-thirds as dense as the average man's bones. So I could lose 33% of my bone density and be where you started. You lose a third of your bone density and your bones are, are more likely to, be, to become brittle enough to create a serious problem where I can lose a third of mine and be where you started. So I'm much less likely, even if I developed osteoporosis, I'd be far less likely to actually be seriously impacted by that. Now you can change that, by the way. How can you change that? Why do you think it's true that men's bones are much more dense than women's? My guess is because men have historically been more physically active. They've historically done heavier labor and it's weight-bearing exercise along with sunlight and an optimal diet that tends to build bone density. So, you know, if, if a man and a woman are eating the same foods but the man is out cutting down trees to build a house and the woman's washing the clothes inside, not in the sunlight and not doing any real heavy exercise, she's much more likely to, to build less bone density to start with. I mean, if, you know, if a girl grows up that way, she's less likely to have the same bone density. Now, some of this may now be programmed, but I'll bet we can change that programming over time. So if you become, you know, you treat your body correctly, get plenty of sunlight, eat correctly, and be physically active your whole life. And, and you don't have to be cutting down trees. You just have to be putting weight on your, on your frame. You could be doing any physical activity where your frame was actually taking your body's weight. And that includes body weight exercises like push-ups and, and headstands and handstands and squats and you know, anything. I mean, anything where you're really being physically active, you're actually helping to build bone density. Now, if, you're, if you've already developed a problem, if you've already lost some bone density, you can get it back. And it's not that hard to do. It's not rocket science. I mean, what's the first thing to do? Um, you know, sometimes people say to me things like, when I lift my leg this way, it hurts. Okay, first thing, stop lifting your leg that way. Okay? <laughs> Don't do something that hurts. Right? Stop doing whatever it is that's causing the problem, the pain in the first place. Um, same thing. If, if, you, if you have a problem with osteoporosis, I mean, most people that have osteoporosis or osteopenia, which, which uh, precedes osteoporosis is a lesser percentage of bone loss. Most people that are dealing with these conditions are still consuming typical diets, which are creating these conditions. Many of them are still probably drinking soda, you know, soft drinks, which are seriously contributing to these problems because they're highly acid-forming substances. So first step would be to stop putting acid-forming substances in your mouth. Stop consuming this stuff. Okay, stop smoking, stop drinking alcohol, stop using drugs. These are all acid-forming behaviors. Stop suppressing emotions. Okay, that's too much to ask. Um, continue suppressing emotions, but no, don't. Uh, deal, find, find healthy ways to deal with emotions because that's an acid-forming behavior too. And I, I mean, most people are thinking, I can't do that, right? I mean, most of us live our whole lives trying to not feel certain things. Stop doing it, it doesn't help. It leads to disease in a very real way. So stop, stop doing all those things that help create acidity in the body. That's the first step. Now, once you stop creating acidity, now there's a chance to actually begin reversing the condition by rebuilding some bone density. But it's never going to happen if you don't make those changes first. 
How are you going to build bone density if you're still consuming the same diet that created the problem in the first place? You're not. Okay. And you know, again, this is one of the problems with medicine and most alternatives is they're not they're not actually looking at causes. Well, you take take more calcium. Does taking more calcium in any real way fix osteoporosis? Absolutely not. Did you know that in most of Asia and Africa, the average person consumes less than 20% as much calcium as people consume in the West? They don't have osteoporosis. So we're consuming five times more calcium and developing a lot more osteoporosis. Okay, it's not about calcium consumption. It's about calcium retention. Stop creating the behavior that's losing you the calcium. We, we, uh, those of you that have been here now for the last month, I think we did the bathtub illustration, no? Does this ring a bell? Mm -hmm. All right, imagine, see this table, imagine this is a 100 gallon bathtub. And if we turn the water on all the way, we get 10 gallons per minute. How long will it take to fill up the bathtub? 100 gallon bathtub, 10 gallons per minute. How long will it take to fill it up? 10. 10 minutes, right? Right? Everyone yes. agree? 10 minutes? Yes. Are you sure? Are you absolutely yeah. sure? Because I, I want you to notice that this thing sitting right here on the edge of the bathtub, that's the drain plug. The drain plug is sitting up here on the edge of the bathtub. So tell me again, how long is it going to take to fill up the bathtub if you've got the water on full blast? Mm. You will never fill the bathtub, will you? Because it's running out of the drain faster than it's coming in. How do you, how do you plug the, the loss of calcium from your body when it's going to run out faster and you can put it in if you keep making those same choices? You can take all the calcium supplements in the world. You can't assimilate it as fast as you're losing it if you're consuming an, an average, typical, standard diet. You have to plug the drain first. Okay, so we do that by changing our lifestyle choices. Once we've done that, let, let's say we now take this drain plug and plug the, the drain. Well, what if all of a sudden I'm not getting 10 gallons per minute anymore? What if I'm only getting one gallon per minute? It's going to take 10 times longer, but it's still going to happen, isn't it? As long as we can plug the drain by changing our lifestyle choices, we can fix the problem. We can rebuild bone density. I, I can't tell you that you can do that in a month or six months or a year. You might be able to in a month, but it might take you a year. It's going to vary from person to person. The key is to plug the drain first and then begin making the excellent choices to rebuild bone density, to get enough sunlight, which is critically important for building rebuilding bone density, which unfortunately means you're going to have to move if you currently live somewhere in the middle of England. You don't even know where. <laughs> Wherever there's no sun. Right? You can't stay there because it's going to be hard to get enough sunlight. Honestly, it's very difficult in places like England where there's not enough sunlight. Uh, I don't know, but I would guess that among those people who don't take supplements or uh, get away on vacation, there probably is a higher rate of osteoporosis that there. than There's certainly a much higher rate in England than there is here, where most people get plenty of sunlight and probably also eat less acid-forming foods. Not that the average diet here is much better, but they just eat less of it. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.